Hello everyone, today I will show you how you can manage a, a newsletter for $7 per month and send up to 62,000 emails to unlimited subscribers. Okay, so let's get started. I will show you an open source project called MailTrain. It's a self-hosted newsletter application. Here are the hardware requirements one virtual CPU and one gigabit of RAM. That's about it. You can install it with Docker or without, but I recommend installing it with Docker as that's easier. Now let me tell you how you can send the emails. First of all, you will need the Amazon Web Services account. Then uh, with that account, you are going to request access to Amazon Simple Email Service and that service allows you to send up to 62k emails for free if you send them from a, from another Amazon service. So let me show you. When you call Amazon Sales from an application hosted in Amazon AC2, you can send 62,000 messages per month at no charge. This free usage tire benefits does not expire. And, uh, and the AC2 that you need for this to run, and the price for this is around $7. And after that, you can still send emails for very cheap. It's 10 cents for 1,000 emails. The install process is very easy, so I'm not going to through that. You can just follow it here. After installing Docker and Docker Compose, or if you don't want to install it with Docker, just follow this one. And uh, you can also read more about it on the documentation. Here they have more things, as you can see, but also you don't need to specify this if you are going to use Amazon SaaS. So now let me show you my install on live production server. First, let me show you that this server only has one gigabit of memory. A lot of it is used. I use this just for the mail train, but as you can see, this was up for 81 days without any problems. I didn't have to restart it. So if you don't need the latest version of mail train, this is a set and forget project. Now let me show you my production server where I use this. Let's go through the tabs list. Here you have your email list, you can create a segment based on these emails. You can also add custom fields. I use this feature a lot to track if, if the person I'm emailing has a paid plan on my website or not. You can import your emails to any list like this. You can also use the subscription form, but I disabled it because I add them manually. It depends on your requirements. I add them as they register to my website. So that's why I disabled it. This is a test example. I'm going to blurry these emails as I would like to keep them private. You also have templates. I recommend creating a template for every type of newsletter you are going to send. So it's easier. Let me show you how you can create a template. You can choose whatever HTML editor you want. So just create template and 
modify this as you wish. Now on campaigns, you can create a new campaign by clicking here. You can even create triggered campaigns. But I'm not going to do that. Let me show you, for example, a campaign that I created in the past. I'm going to blurry some info here. You can see the open rate, the click, bounces, complaints, and unsubscribes. For bounces, you have to do some extra configuration. For Amazon says I wasn't able to do it, so this is why I get zero here. There were some bounces. Also, if you go to links, you will see how many clicks each link got. Yeah, that's pretty much about the campaigns. You can also have some automations, but I didn't create any. For example, you can send the email again. If, uh, let's say, if they didn't open this email, I'm going to send it again to them in four days. I think this is pretty good. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's for creating reports based on your subscribers, but I've never used it. You also have a, a blacklist. If you want to add emails that you never want to send messages to some basic settings here you can use google analytics and here is how you can configure amazon sales you can also use smtp you will get this from amazon simple email services it's very easy to configure and after that, you are pretty much set on sending emails. You also have an API with URL examples. And you need uh, to generate an access token for it. And with the API, you can create subscribers, remove them, get the list and so on if you are interested i can make a video specially dedicated to the api and how i would use it right now i don't update my email list so often so i don't use it that much but i think i should also if you want to run on your domain and using https you'll have to use uh, engine x as far as i know at least that's how i did it and I think it's better to run under your own domain instead of Amazon Web Services subdomain. Also, they are working on a new version. This is an old version, but I prefer using this because it's more stable, I think. And also, it doesn't need as many resources as the new versions do. Version 2 is in beta, but you need two virtual CPUs and four gigabytes of RAM. Also, the installation process may be a little bit more complicated, but not that much. But I think the new version has more features, so it's up to you. I personally prefer the all version because of the hardware requirements that's about it for today guys if you enjoyed this video please like it and if you have any question about this or you would like to see a follow-up tutorial for example installing i can make it just leave a comment down below i will get to it as soon as possible thank you for watching have a great day bye bye